body. Um, I think my sound is probably kind of weird because I'm using the webcam uh, microphone. So yeah, it's probably gonna sound weird, but I'm also in my kitchen. And this is, this was a really weird setup, but hi, hi everybody. I'm, I don't have anything ready and I'm not prepared at all. So this is gonna be just like real life. It's, it really is. I don't even have anything out. Um, so yeah, I've got my oven. I've got my oven preheating already. This is what we're making today, okay? So we're starting out real easy with a cooking stream and we're just making cookies. Soft molasses cookies. Gonna be super easy. Um, but yeah. Hi, Gary. Hi, Jazzy. Hi, Zuby. Um, thank you. You like my overalls? Thank you so much. I love molasses cookies. My grandmother used to make these when I was a kid, and so they remind me of her, and I love them. And they're so delicious. Um, so yeah, I need to get my ingredients out because I wanted to have that ready before, but I don't. So stay there. I will be right back. I'm getting brown sugar, molasses. I hope I have everything. I'm going to be honest. I didn't even check, but I made this not that long ago, so I should. Um, Salt, baking soda, okay, I'll, I'll turn this down when I'm putting stuff together too. Hi Baltian, what's up? I'm 100% I'm not prepared in any way whatsoever. Getting my ingredients. Um, all-purpose flour. I hope I have enough. I think I should. Um, so this stream, I'm streaming some extra this week uh, because I'm raising money for Extra Life. So I'm going to be doing several different streams this week. And um, if you want to donate to my Extra Life campaign, please feel free to do so. But I'm going to be raising money until November 7th. That's when the whole campaign is. And um, I am preparing a special giveaway for everybody who donates $10 to my Extra Life campaign. If you vote, if you donate $10, you get one entry into my giveaway. So if you donate more than $10, if you donate $20, you get two entries into my giveaway. And I don't have all the details of the giveaway hashed out yet, so that will, I will announce later on my Twitter. But yeah. So I'm going to be, I'm streaming this today. I'm going to stream some arena tomorrow afternoon. And then Thursday night, I'm streaming Magic for Normies with Zuby. And Sunday, I'm streaming, oh, I can tell you guys. I'm streaming um, Sunday night at 7. I'm going to be streaming some Paper EDH. And the guests I'm going to have on my special extra live stream are Zuby, as you all know and love. Um, we're also going to have Efren, a.k.a. Peck Crack Fever. And our fourth player is going to be Gavin Verhe. He will be joining us to play some Paper EDH. So, um, yeah, that's pretty exciting. That's what's going on. I can't see what y'all are writing. So, um, yeah. Hi. Hey, Affinity from TG. So, yeah, it's going to be exciting. I have a lot of streams prepared for this week. Um, yeah, so let's start cooking right now. Um, let me finish getting my ingredients. Okay, brown sugar, molasses, one egg, I need to get an egg, flour, baking soda. Um, I need cinnamon, which is almost empty, but I have another one. I need ground cloves. I need ground ginger. And I've got my salt and I need sugar. Be right back. Okay, got 
my sugar. Okay, and I need my egg. Hey, Kyoji! What's up? Am I too loud? I'm sorry. If I'm too loud or if something is too loud or if the music is too loud, please let me know. This is a totally different setup than what I'm used to. And I don't know what it sounds like. So let me know if something is off, please. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. I'm using a different microphone. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a little weird. I need an egg. Okay. Now, this recipe calls for shortening, which I don't have. So we're just using butter. So that makes a difference in baking and my cookies are gonna come out a little bit more like flat and not so puffy and cookie-like. But that's okay because they're still gonna taste delicious, right? Um, and also, my butter is cold. So I need to soften it. So I'm, I'm just totally unprepared and totally messed up. I'm gonna move my camera around some so y'all can see what I'm doing sometimes. Here's my butter. Um, uh, tomorrow, oh, so tomorrow I'm gonna be playing Arena and I would be happy to play a game against Stu Kyoji if that's what you're talking about. Sounds okay to you, good. Oh, static. Okay, okay. It is echoey in here, I know, I know. It's super open. Um, change channel to Pixie Kitten Bakes, please. Why don't I think of these things? I'm so not smart. So I need a little thing to, um, to soften my butter in because I'm not using the right ingredient. This is not professional baking, okay? I just want y'all to know, like, n nothing even close to resembling professional baking in any manner whatsoever. Okay. I'm probably supposed to use unsalted butter as well, but I don't buy unsalted butter because, come on, does that taste good? No. Is it healthier? Yeah, but who cares? I guess I should, right? Okay, I'm gonna soften this butter. This is a lot of butter. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it work here. Oh, okay, there you go, butter. Soften this in my microwave. I don't think I should melt it. I think I should just soften it. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Okay. I am extremely smart. I don't know. Oh no, I'm not playing Paper Commander tomorrow. I'm playing Paper Commander on Sunday evening and I do have a lineup for that. Tomorrow I am just going to be playing some Arena. Hi Michaela. Oh, thank you, you love my kitchen? I, w I wish I had two cameras set up because I, otherwise I don't really know how to do this. I've never watched anybody's um, cooking or baking streams. So we're, we're, just, we're just doing our own thing here and hoping it works out. Okay, I'm gonna get a bowl for everything and we're gonna start putting it together. Oh, my butter, my butter! All right, okay, I'm gonna show you all the butter in the microwave. Can you see it? I don't really wanna carry the camera over there. Okay, I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay, this is sketch, this is so sketch. Butter's completely melted. And it was boiling, so it made a huge mess. Okay, well, here we go. This is so much like real life, it's unbelievable, okay? Unbelievable. Ah, ah, 
most cooking streams are as impromptu as this one. Okay, thank God. Um, should I use the melted butter? Oh wow, it's really messy. Y'all are distracting me. I'm just gonna use the melted butter. We're gonna we're gonna just see how this turns out and learn together. Here we go. Putting the melted butter in the bowl. Um, this is fine. This is totally fine. Right? Super fine. There's only a small pool of butter in the microwave. It happens, right? To all of us. Okay. Moving on. Um, we had our first mishap. But it, it's it's fine. <clears throat> um, Baltian, I want you to know I'm not really a good cook whatsoever. Bye, Jazzy. Thank you for hanging out. Mm, you can have some of these cookies. They're gonna be so yummy. Okay, so I need to put all my ingredients in the bowl and beat them. I think I'm just gonna use a spoon though. It says I can use an, an electric mixer or mix with a spoon. So that is what I will do. Okay, I need a cup of packed brown sugar. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Cup of brown sugar. I guess y'all probably can't see this. Um, if it's supposed to be packed, I guess I'll get a spoon and pack it down. We don't want to go light on the brown sugar. Certainly not. We want to make sure we have the right amount because that's, that's the yummy part. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. This looks like a fine amount. Yeah, there we go. Cup of brown sugar. Okay, we got it. Um, shortening, that's the butter. Already got that. Got that part done. We got the butter done. Oh, heck yeah. Um, molasses. Okay, a fourth a cup of molasses. Here's my grandma's molasses. It really says grandma's. I got brown sugar all over the countertop. I guess I'll turn this down a little bit. Okay, fourth a cup of molasses. Here we go. I got it, don't worry. Don't even worry about it. I can open it, no biggie. Okay. I love molasses cookies, but molasses alone doesn't necessarily like smell great. If I'm completely honest. Okay. Okay, we gotta add our egg. The molasses is dripping down the side of this. I like to keep things neat while I'm cooking, but that's difficult. Okay, one egg. Oh, you missed the part where I said it was molasses cookies. Yes, it's molasses cookies. That's what we're making. Soft molasses cookies. It's a Betty Crocker recipe. One egg. 
okay. Whoa, almost got some egg shell in there. I hope my melted butter doesn't mess everything up. But we'll see. Okay, so we're supposed to beat with an electric mixer on medium speed or mix with a spoon and then stir in the remaining ingredients except for the granulated sugar. Okay, let's do it. We're mixing it up. Betty Crocker does know. Betty Crocker knows what's up. For sure. Cooking neatly, how? I know, right? I've done melted microwave butter for recipes. It doesn't change anything. Okay, good. I mean, I think changing from, from butter to, changing from shortening that the recipe called for to the butter, that'll change it, but melted butter versus softened butter probably won't change it all that much, right? Okay, stir in remaining ingredients. This looks pretty mixed. I mean, this doesn't necessarily look appetizing, but we're not done yet. Okay, the remaining ingredients are two and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, let me get my flour. Will this fit in here? Yep, perfectly. Well, no, I don't have a clean knife. I have one in my dishwasher. All right. Okay, there's one cup of flour. cups of flour and a fourth a cup. I got my little fourth a cup dirty with molasses. So I'll use this one and we'll just eyeball it. It'll be fine. Does that look like a fourth a cup? Yeah, it does. Okay. Two and one fourth cup of flour and two teaspoons of baking soda. Okay, I really should have been more prepared for all of this, but I just wasn't. Via recipes.com, this recipe has been handed down in the kitchen family for generations. Via recipes.com, yeah, it has. Sure has. What did I say? Two teaspoons of baking soda. Okay. One, two. Okay. I put like all my open things in plastic bags just to keep them longer. I assume that that actually helps. A teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay, I'm not sure if I have enough. This cinnamon is almost empty. Let's see. Oh, 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 we got a little extra. Oh man, I'm messing this up big time. It's okay if we have extra cinnamon. A teaspoon of ground ginger. Okay, this won't fit in here. Oh my, come on, a little bit more, but not too much. Good enough. A half a teaspoon of cloves. Okay, I can't open these things with my fingernail. I'm always afraid it's gonna like flip my fingernail back. There's a kitten, there's a kitten in here rubbing on my leg. No, Daisy, not right now. Can't pet you. 
No, not right now. No, Daisy. Daisy? <laughs> no, Daisy, not right now. Hi, Coffee Mute. Yes, it is a cooking stream with a kitten here. Um, did I just do the cloves? Did I just do the half a teaspoon of cloves? Did I already do the half a teaspoon of cloves? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I used the, this is the half a teaspoon thing and I can see some clove, ground clove re residue in here. I'm pretty sure I did that. Right? Right? Oh, thank you. I love Daisy. She is a gorgeous cat. She is, um, I think she is four and she will be five in like January. So she's not really a baby anymore. And it makes me so sad. A fourth a teaspoon of salt. Okay, not very much salt, just a little. We got this. Perfect, okay. Mixing it up, here we go. Everything except for the sugar. Okay. Maybe I should have used my electric mixer for this. My arm's already getting tired. Oops, I got a pop-up on my computer. Hold on. Okay. This is fine. I don't need the electric mixer. I can mix it by hand. This is looking like cookie dough for sure. For sure. Ugh. It's fine. It's really, it's, it's okay. This might not be the right spoon either. I'm pretty sure last time I did this, I did use the electric mixer, but that would be super loud. So I didn't want to do it on stream. Okay, I think that's mixed good enough. Okay, I am going to shape dough by rounded tablespoonfuls into one and a half inch balls, dip tops into granulated sugar. On ungreased cookie sheet, place balls sugar side up about two inches apart. Okay, we got this. Okay, I'm gonna put my eggs away. So they're not sitting out. And get a bowl for my granulated sugar. Why does cooking, why does cooking get like everything dirty? Everything. It just does, doesn't it? This is my tablespoon, so I'll need that. Okay, how much sugar am I supposed to have? Three tablespoons of sugar. Okay, let me get my sugar. How's the day been? The day has been just fine. I've been excited about doing this cooking stream. One, two, three. Okay. Uh oh, Daisy's back. I don't know what she wants, but it really, I hate to say this, but it really annoys me when I'm cooking and Daisy comes in here and rubs on my legs. Like I can't do anything cause she's just under me. Okay, I'm gonna get my baking sheet out. Um. On an ungreased 
cookie sheet place both shutter sides up about two inches apart. I think I'm probably gonna need more than one. Um, I'm gonna use my silk hat. And I think that'll be fine. So I'm, the sh I'm shaping the dough into around a tablespoon balls, tablespoon balls, one and a half inch balls. Okay, let's do it. My oven is ready to go. Okay. I think this looks fine, right? One and a half inches, sure. Dip the tops into the granulated sugar. Place the balls sugared size up about two inches apart. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> yes. We're shaping the dough into balls. That is correct. Sugared balls. No less. Your cat does the same. Does she ever run by your feet while you're walking? Um, yes. If I get up like from my desk or something, she'll like race me through the house and I don't know why. And I'm just like, why did you just stand under me? Do you like being kicked? I don't wanna kick you, Daisy. Don't run under my feet. I think my balls might be a little bit too big. These might be like two inch balls and not one and a half inch balls. But I guess if they're all the same size, then it's okay. They might need to cook for a minute longer. She has to keep up with the action. Yeah, she really does. She always wants to know what's going on. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need another baking sheet for this. If I can fit, this is supposed to make 24 cookies. So if I can fit 12 on this one, we'll put 12 on a second one and we'll be good to go. Um, thank you for the follow. I can't hear any notifications that pop up. So, if I miss something, I'm really sorry, but I appreciate y'all being here, hanging out with me while I make some yummy cookies. I wish I could share them, but you know, it doesn't really work for food virtually. Unfortunately. I mean, I've been into cooking so much. I would love to cook for all my internet friends. I think that would be so much fun. Oops. Okay, I'm trying to keep all these balls the same size. It says these are supposed to bake for 13 to 16 minutes. Or just until set and cookies appear dry. I don't know what that means, but we'll find out. Um, whoops, I dropped like half of that dough. That's not enough. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Kyoji. Uh, might bring up a brawl deck? Yeah, sounds good. I put together some brawl decks earlier today. I've got brawl, standard, historic. Yeah, if you wanna come um, play some games against me tomorrow afternoon, I will be streaming arena at this same time. So plan on it. I really like playing against, um, you know, real people that I know than randos in the queue. It's, I don't know. 
I just like it better. Haven't touched bra in months. Neither have I. I was like literally looking at my bra decks today. Um, and they were all, every single one of them had cards that were rotated out. Okay, I got my first batch ready to go. Let's put it in the oven. Daisy, get out of here. This is a hot oven. Get, shoot, no, get out of here. We're not putting the cat in the oven. Okay, we're gonna set a timer for 13 minutes. Oops. And we'll check them then. And then we'll start on my second batch. Whoops, sorry. Sorry. I do not have another silk hat, so I will use parchment paper for this one. Is this wide enough? Yeah. I'm sorry if this noise is really loud. BRB Pixie go and lurk for a bit good luck. Hey, Baltan, thank you for the cheer! Oh, you're gonna lurk for a bit? That is totally fine. I realize it's the middle of the day and people are like at jobs and stuff. So, totally do what you gotta do. Thank you so much for the bits, Baltan. You are the best. Brewed so many commander decks. Yeah, the previews have been really exciting. Um, I have so far been most excited about the um, Orzhov Angel card. Like, I love paying life for stuff. I don't know why. It might be kind of messed up, but I love it. I love it so much. So I'm like already typing out a list of cards I want to put together for an EDH deck with that card as the commander. And it's wild, you know, like I wasn't even playing EDH a year ago. In fact, I was like completely resistant to it and I didn't want to have anything to do with it. And you know, Efren tried to get me to play all the time. But I was like, no, I don't want to. And you know what? Whenever I was not playing EDH and I was like, well, I don't really want to spend three hours playing one game. Everybody, everybody, whenever I said that to somebody, everybody was like, oh, but, oh that, that doesn't happen. I mean, that, that rarely happens. Literally every game of EDH I play takes almost three hours. So that was a lie. Everybody who told me that didn't happen, that was a lie. Efren, you were probably one of those people who told me that. But it was a lie, but it's still a really fun three hours. Um, I've just really been enjoying it, surprisingly enough. I was not, I told you they take forever. Oh, okay. Well, then other folks told me, tried to tell me, oh, they don't take three hours. I know better now. They definitely take three hours. I mean, not always. Not if Zuby brings one of his real horrible decks, like Winota or something. Just destroys everybody immediately. And we're like, what? What power level are we playing right now? Oh, Zuby's playing CEDH? Oh, okay. Got it. Makes sense. My playgroup can get about five to seven games in three hours. Whoa! Not because we're hyper combo, but because we know each other's sex. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. My problem is that I've realized with um, thinking about building a deck for that um, new Lisa card. Is it Lisa? 
Is it just Lisa? Like, is the angel's name just Lisa? You know, the new Commander Legends angel, Orzov angel. Um, so I was looking at it and I'm like, a lot of these cards are the same cards that I have in my Alenda deck. So I like playing all the same kinds of decks. But it's a little different. There's not, there's not pay life stuff in my Alenda deck. That's just vampires. That's like vampire tribal hardcore, which I love. Love. Yes, Lisa, okay. Competitive EDH, oh yeah. CEDH is competitive EDH. Three hour games, that takes me back. Well, I mean, I have fun most of the time. Most of the time. Hey, thanks for the emotes, Baltian. <laughs> Pay me your life, I know, right? Okay, I'm almost out of dough here. I don't think I'm gonna get four more cookies though. That's okay. I think my cookies are like a little bit bigger. Whoa, whoops. Hey yo. When did I start playing MTG? I started playing MTG in 2018. In the spring of 2018. Um, and I still consider myself a new player, whoops, because I don't ever know what's going on. I just started playing EDH um, in the spring of this year, but with quarantine and everything, you know, everybody's been playing a lot of virtual EDH, so it's actually worked out so nicely. Actually, I might be able to get two more cookies out of this. In fact, I think I totally will. Totally will. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm really glad I started playing EDH. I'm really glad people bullied me into it because I like it way more than I like Arena. Arena is a little bit too competitive for me personally, but that's just me. 2018, am I supposed to say 2018? Like, do you have to make fun? <laughs> Can't listen as I'm in a meeting, but damn, they look promising. I know, they look so good, right? They are good, they're delish. Okay, my first batch is at six minutes. So, let me wash my hands to get this goo off my hands. Molasses cookie goo. Uh oh, Daisy's back again. I just saw her walk by. She really wants something. I wonder if she's out of food very possible. Okay. Twenty eighteen, cool. Yeah, I have not been playing very long. Not very long at all. What's your favorite thing about EDH? The variants, the random cards? Yes. Exactly. I definitely like the randomness of it. And um, I really like playing like limited formats and not constructed so much. And because I like, I like the randomness of it much better than always, you know, having four copies of every card, knowing exactly what's gonna happen. That is not quite as fun to me. I like doing weird jank things for sure, but weird jank decks don't win that often. So it's more fun to play them in Commander where I have three other 
people all going at each other and not just me trying to have to kill one person. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got four minutes. Four minutes. Let's see if we can tell what's going on. Oh, they're puffing up. They're looking good. They're starting to like crack a little bit, but they're supposed to do that. This is, this is going well, this is going well. I think this is, I think these are gonna be very yummy. And our second batch, I guess I could maybe go ahead and put it in, but it would be on a different, I'll just wait. I'll just wait till these are done. Hey, thank you for the follow. Prof 307, yay EDH. Yeah, we're talking about some EDH. You like the oddball cards that make you read and reread it like five times? Yeah, I like some weird stuff too. I'm really excited about um, Commander Legends coming out. Really excited. I think I've already pre-ordered a box and I'm thinking like, should I just pre-order another box? But I'm not going to, I'm just gonna get one. Hi Daisy, she's back. She's officially back. Now that I'm done messing with cookies, we can give Daisy a hug. Smile, Daisy. You're on camera. Everybody wants to see you and love you. Yeah. See what's going on up here? Daisy's not allowed to get up on the kitchen counters or on tables. So she's always very curious about what's going on. But she's a good girl and she doesn't get up there. She's a very good girl. Most of the time, except when she runs under my feet, then she's not good. Not very good. What kind of cookies? I'm making soft molasses cookies. This is a Betty Crocker recipe. It's actually like super easy. If anyone wants to make it, you can probably just Google search Betty Crocker soft molasses cookies and make them yourself. And they're so yummy. They kind of taste, um, you know, like Christmassy because they have cinnamon, ginger, cloves in them. But they're very, very yummy. She, she is. <laughs> I don't think Daisy would eat these cookies, but she probably did smell them. We need Daisy-shaped cookies. Oh, we do. I think I used to have a cat cookie cutter a long time ago. But now I only have like holiday shapes, a star, a gingerbread person. I think, I think these are pancake molds and or cookie cutters. You can use them like for tiny pancake molds with the handle. I never use them. I'm just going to be honest. Never, never use them. Okay, we're down to 20 seconds. 18. Hold on, let's check it. Oh, they're looking so good. Okay, we're gonna get ready to swap here. This is our next batch. Okay, it said, the recipe said, Bake 13 to 16 minutes or until just set and cookies appear dry. Immediately remove from cookie sheet to cooling rack. <gasps> look. Do these look just set and appear dry? I think so. Okay, we're gonna move them from the, from the cookie sheet. And we're gonna try to get them just on the counter. I'm gonna put my next batch in. I did, I did exactly 13 minutes and that worked really well. Okay. I'm gonna use these tongs to pull this thing off of here so that I don't burn myself on a live stream because I do it in real life you know, regularly, but I don't really want to do it here. And I don't know how well this is going to work because this 
sill pad is like real rubbery. Okay, it's working, it's working fine. It's working okay. Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it. We did it. First batch is done. Let's look at them. Here they are. They're beautiful. <gasps> they're soft. See how they're like crackled? I love it, I love it. They're gonna be so yummy. So, so, so yummy. <laughs> Why did I put this on and watch? I wanna bite so badly. Toothpick test. I don't, I don't know if that works for cookies, but they definitely look done. Look at the picture. Isn't that what they look like? Pretty dang close. Check it out with the crackling. Oh yeah, very delicious. I have to let them cool, but then I'm gonna try one. And I wish I could send you all a cookie so you could try them too. Cause I know they're gonna be yummy. But listen, you can make these yourself. They're super easy. Just look this recipe up. It's not a special secret family recipe. Though my grandmother did make these cookies when I was a child and they're delicious. Delicious. Ooh, cookie nom nom nom. Throne of Eldrin cookies. Oh, they are food tokens. Yes, they are. Oh my gosh. They're getting like a little bit crispy. So exciting. <laughs> no pixie dust, no. No pixie dust. Um, well that's pretty much it. Like, I made the cookies and that's what I wanted to do on this stream. So that was it. Daisy's back. Here she is. Um, I might do more cooking streams in the future and make actual food because I really like cooking. I enjoy it. Um, but I wanted to start with something easy like cookies. And I think it turned out pretty well. Daisy, get out of here. Go on, Daisy. So, um, I do not have a Wrinkle Commander deck. That sounds fun, though. Really fun. Um, let me see if I can send y'all over to raid somebody. Um, hey, why don't y'all go check out Total MTG? He is playing some arena right now. If you want to come back here tomorrow at the same time, I will be playing some arena. So bring a deck and come and challenge me. That would be really fun. Like I said, I like playing against my friends better than I like playing against randos. So join me tomorrow and we'll do it again. But not cookies, we'll play some arena. So have a great afternoon, everybody. Go tell Total MTG that I said hi. Thank you all so much for joining me. Bye, friends. Did I send it? Did it work? Did I write? I'm messing this up big time. Y'all, help me. Help. I messed up. I think I sent it the first time. If I didn't, bye.